the main aim of the international drug control system is to protect the health and welfare of mankind. Over the past few years, we've seen so many new substances emerging on the market. Some of them have shown to be very harmful, resulting in hospital emergency admissions and fatalities. And some of them are even been used in driving. It is important to be able to identify the ones which are harmful. And that is why we have the early warning system which seeks to bring a lot of scientific data together to inform us on which substances need to be taken off the market to protect human health. With 1,000 substances, the international community has to be prudent. We cannot control 1,000 substances, but we can be able to find the ones which are harmful. And by focusing on that, we are able to protect the health and welfare of mankind in a very timely way. We want the information derived from the early warning system to inform the policy direction. We also want it to inform the law enforcement and health responses to the problem. And finally, we want the information to help the scientific community to be able to generate quality data which will support effective decisions. In that sense, the information derived gets shared with the intergovernmental bodies, with law enforcement and health professionals, and for the scientific community, it gets shared through the current drug threat reports which we publish twice a year.